Hi, I'm Berend and today we're going to talk about solenoid valve maintenance. We will cover why it's important to properly maintain a solenoid valve, steps to disassemble the valve, how to check for issues, and finally we will cover whether to replace a valve part or get an entirely new valve. Solenoid valve maintenance involves replacing any worn out components and ensuring that the valve parts are clean and free of debris. Excessive noise, leakage or sluggish operation indicates that the valve needs to be inspected and cleaned. A proper maintenance routine ensures a predictable solenoid valve operation and extends the life of your solenoid valve. Now, let us discuss the basic maintenance steps. Disconnect the power supply and depressurize the system. Inspect the coil for any cracks or burnout. Never power up the coil before installing it properly on the valve stem, as the resultant high current can cause the coil to burn out. Also, moisture can penetrate the coil, this can lead to valve failure. You can also check the connection to the coil for damage or corrosion. Once the coil has been inspected for possible failures, use a wrench to remove the valve stem. This exposes the internal components of the solenoid valve, like the plunger, seal, spring and o-ring. Clean these components in running water to remove any accumulated dirt. These components should be examined for damage and replaced as needed. Look for any swelling, cracks or general wear and tear signs on the seal. Inspect the spring for broken coils. Look for any deposits, swelling or rust on the inside of the valve and see if they can cause a leak or interfere with the internal moving parts. Also, check for possible scratches near the orifice or general crest deterioration. The top portion of the plunger and the inside portion of the stem also may show signs of deterioration. Make sure to follow your product instructions if the solenoid valve has more complex components like diaphragms, pistons or spools. Now that the solenoid valve has been inspected, we can determine if it's best to repair replace some components or replace the whole solenoid valve. If it's a small part to replace, like an o-ring, it is probably the best to replace this component and reassemble the valve. However, oftentimes with solenoid valves for basic applications, it is more cost effective to replace the entire valve unit. For solenoid valves catering to high-end applications, the cost of replacing the entire valve may be higher than just replacing the individual parts. In this case, it is a better option to purchase a replacement part kit from the valve manufacturer. Once you've removed all the buildup and replaced the necessary parts of the solenoid valve, reattach the coil and reinstall the newly assembled valve back into the application, according to the manufacturer's direction. If you need any further help with solenoid valve maintenance, take a look at our technical article on Thames.com. If you find this video useful, please give it a like and subscribe for more videos. If you have any further questions, post them in the comments below or ask anyone at Thameson.